Welcome back everyone. My name is Sniping is Fun and this is the Wolf Among Us Let's Play Part 24. Let's finish the story. And I believe given how far I am in episode 5, this is probably gonna be the last part of this let's play because I just threw the crooked man down the well. Let's get going and see how it turns out from there. I feel there's someone else behind all this. This feels like it. Something else. Someone. Something's gonna happen. Oh, hi, Sheriff Bigby. Great, great to see you. I don't know if you remember me. I know who you are, Flycatcher. You've worked at the Woodlands for how many years now? <sighs> I think I've lost count. Are you gonna come see the truck off? We're leaving for the farm in a few. Thought you might want to. I don't know. I'll be down in a minute. Okay. Great. I feel like this some... fucking line. Hey! Hi, Jack. Hey! Hi, Tiny. Some of those guys don't uh, like me now. Uh, Mr. Wolf, Flycatcher left his keys. Is everything okay? You look. I'm. I'm sorry, Sheriff. I have to take care of this. We'll talk later, okay? I feel there's some something. Good morning, Miss White. You're late. I feel there's something I'm missing. Someone's gonna see you, Colin. Something, something doesn't seem right. It just doesn't feel. Oh, Gowan! Jesus! We only have like five minutes. They carry me for fuck's sake! I don't give a shit! You forgot these. Oh, thank you. It's uh, been pretty busy around here. Morning, Sheriff. Nice What's fucking day. What's wrong? Oh, shit! Just go grab that, would you? Sorry about all this. Uh, I tried to help. Just why the hell did she have to send me and me boy away, huh? You promised me I'll get another chance. But Miss White said I had to go up to the damn farm anyway. I told her I had the money, but she didn't want to hear it. Wait, Sheriff Bigby. I have something. <laughs> you know, he was up crying all night, poor kid. Can you give this to Miss White, please? Dad says there's no time to say goodbye, so... If you could bring it to her? Yeah, sure. I couldn't take them all with me, and she said she liked that one the best. Fly collection? Or bug it's collection? willow beetle. That's a big one. They're cool, because when they're little, they have these pouches that squirt juice at you if you touch them. I'm sure she'll love it. She said it was pretty. We're about ready to head out. What's it like at the farm? I've heard ogres live there, and, and they eat people in their sleep sometimes. God, I hope not. Do we have to go? I want to stay here. Well, we don't have a choice anymore. Don't worry. You'll be a lot safer there. There's plenty of space to run around, and a nice river nearby so you can swim all you want. Even in daytime? Yeah. You don't have to worry about the Monday seeing you. It'll be nice. <laughs> Come on. It won't be so bad. Have you been there before? No. I'm, uh, 
Some of the animals aren't comfortable around wolves, so you wouldn't know, would you? We're all set. Bye, Mr. Wolf. Goodbye, TJ. Hey, Bigby! Where's your friend, Collie? Where's a fucking pig? I don't know. He, uh, he must have run off. Bullshit! Saying goodbye? Narissa! Hi. Hi. You're still wearing that thing. Oh. Yeah. I guess I am. It's not easy to forget. I know it seems like I should be able to. It's just... It's okay. I get it. <sighs> Listen, I... I came here because I have to tell you something. What is it? It's about what happened to Faith and Lily. I'm not sure where to start. <sighs> Faith, Lily and I, we had this plan. We were gonna find a way out. Leave the pudding and pie for good. But then Faith decided to get some leverage. She stole a picture of Crane and Lily together. The minute Faith stole that photo, we had dirt on one of the crooked man's allies. If he found out, I... I had no choice. You have to understand. You've seen how they kept us quiet in that place. Can you imagine the lengths they go just to silence someone who had physical evidence? Narissa, what did you do? I freaked out, okay? I thought if I came clean to Georgie, he'd get the crooked man to leave us alone. We could just forget the whole thing. Maybe try again in a few years. You what? So I told him everything. And I begged for mercy for all of us. I didn't want anyone to die over a picture. You were just trying to protect them. Yeah. Georgie promised he'd smooth things over with the crooked man. But then... Oh, God. <laughs> I don't know what happened. But that night at the club, Georgie came back and told me things had changed. He had to make an example of us. We had committed treason. And while the two of us were sitting there, as he was telling me this, Faith walked in, and I had to watch while Georgie... Wait, so Georgie told you all this? Not the crooked man? Back at the well, you said... I know what I said. But it wasn't the truth, was it? What does it matter? I know the crooked man did it. So what if it wasn't the whole truth? It was true enough. I guess... I guess it worked out in the end. I can't hold that against you. I know he ordered their deaths. I wasn't gonna let him get away with it because of a stupid technicality. Especially after... That night, after Faith. I tried to warn Lily, but she wasn't with her scheduled appointment. So I did the only thing I could do. I... I left Faith's head at your doorstep. You? I walked her over here, and I left her, just hoping that maybe if I couldn't save them... You were trying to get my attention. So you... you started all this. I just pointed you in the right direction. People like us get forgotten all the time. The crooked man was counting on that. When we suffer, we do it in silence. And the world likes it that way. We just... Fade, like we never existed. I couldn't watch that happen to Faith or Lily. Nobody cares about us. Not really. That's not true. It is. You've just never seen it before. But now you have. You'll make things right. You and Snow. I don't know. It seems like no matter what I do, it's just not enough for her or anyone. 
I just can't win with these people. I know it might feel that way, but they need you, Bigby. Both of you. You two make a good team. The way you look out for each other, and look out for us. You don't see that a lot these days. I don't really know where we stand anymore. Things are just... different. Huh. Things are always different. Look, Bigby. After everything you've done for us, maybe they don't want to admit it, but without you, none of this would have happened. You listened when no one else would. You knew when to show mercy, and you brought justice to this town, finally. Because you brought the crooked man in, everyone saw who he really was. So from where I'm standing, you did the right thing. You've been given this job for a reason. And I left faith at your doorstep because I knew if anyone stood a chance against the crooked man, it was you. I hope I've at least done some good here. You've changed this place. For better or worse, Fable Town wouldn't be the same without you. You're not as bad as everyone says you are. I need to tell you something. I have to tell you something. I feel like we've met before. You're trying to place me. You like my ribbon? Do you like it? Faith wore one too. What hide her beauty so she could escape his kingdom? They used to call me the little Did mermaid. Dr. Swinehart ever get back to you about Faith? He said he wanted to run more tests. I hope you find what you're looking for. Wait a minute. What in the world is going on? I'll see you around. What the world? Don't, no, don't, don't you even dare do this to me right now. Not no freaking cliffhanger. Was Narissa behind it the entire time? The hell? She wanted to pin on the crooked man so she can get away. I get the feeling that that ending is, oh god, what the hell. You and 68 players killed Georgie. I, well, I wouldn't say killed Georgie. I put him out of his misery. Because he would have died a painful death. I just made his death a lot quicker. Did you give the crooked man a trial? Most people gave him a trial. Ooh, most people took him back for a trial. How did you punish the crooked man? Uh, oh yeah, a smaller amount of percentage threw him down the witching wheel. Yes, I gave, accepted the gift, and then that. Uh, we... Special stats. Okay, special... Okay, special stat... Oh, for every character. Beast, you lied to him about seeing Beauty outside the apartment. Beauty, you promised her you wouldn't tell Beast that you saw her outside the apartment. Bluebeard, you fought him after the interrogation. See, I think Bluebeard was kind of underutilized in this game. Like, his inclusion in the story was almost like nothing for the most part. Butcher, you offered him protection at the business office. Colin, you gave him a drink when he asked one in the apartment. You helped him avoid the farm. Crooked man. You took him back to the witching well. You tossed him down the witching well. Oh, he's deceased. Faith, you gave her money after the fight with the woodsman. Now, in the special stats, it says, says that she's deceased. Is there a way for her to not die? You offered her a job of Greenleaf. Gran, you drank with Gran after Lily's funeral. Holly, you pretended to be a woodsman while she was passed out. Jack, you made a deal with him. Snow, you brought her along with you to the trip trap. You showed her the crane's photograph of her. You promised to bring the crooked man back alive. Tiny Tim, you chose to wait for him. That's good. You, TJ, you accepted his beetle and promised to give it to Snow, which they don't show. 
Toad, you stood up for him when Snow wanted to send him to the farm. You gave him money. And Woody, you chose to arrest him at the church. Okay. Okay. And there is no season two to this thing. There's no continuation to this thing. This is a one and done game. This game is like freaking five years old. I think. Yeah, something like that. Six years old. Five, six. No continuation except for stuff in the comics. I wonder if this connects to the comics. That ending. That ending. Was Narissa? I'm just wondering, was Narissa behind it? Because that ending, it didn't feel. It felt like she came out of freaking nowhere when she was, when you were doing the thing with the, with the crooked man, and she's the one that was that helped push towards wanting to, you know, you know, have him die or get punishment for his thing, and then it just kind of abruptly ends. Like, okay, something feels weird because there's an actual ending to the whole thing. And then you talk to Narissa at the end. And then he starts having things about all every conversation he's had with him and had with her the entire time. Like throughout the entire game. And it just doesn't feel right. And so I chose to go after her. But it doesn't show anything. So what's the point? <gasps> continues. That's why. It all continues in the comics. Continue the story. Pick up a graphic novel today from Vertigo from DC Entertainment. That's why. That's why. Uh, and with that being said, And that's it. I have officially beaten the Wolf Among Us. And the only reason it ends like that is for a freaking read the graphic novel. You know, ending. It feels like I'm watching a Japanese anime. Oh, we end it right here. Is that where the manga ends? No, the manga goes for 20 more chapters. You gotta read the rest. <sighs> I didn't 100% it because I didn't get all the, the things. Got to earn every trophy in every episode of The Wolf Among Us. And that would be nice, but I didn't get all the... All Book of Fable entries. Now, what Book of Fables did I miss in the other ones? I got everything for episode five, but I missed all the get all the Book of Fables in the first four chapters. I don't know anymore. But players' choices. Before I end it here, let's look at the entire lineup of things that I, throughout the entire game. I gave Faith money. I lied to Beast. Where did I tell you first? I went to help Toad. Prince Lawrence died. Who did you arrest? Woodsman. Then responded to the crow. Snow's death. Simple lie. We never get. We also never get to find out what happened to him. We never get to figure out what happened to the Crane. How did you treat the murder suspect? I persuaded him to talk. Trip trap took her. Georgie. 
Beverly, this, this, 39, Crane's apartment. Most people want to, actually most people want to see Lily and all that, or Holly, I mean. I made a deal with Jack, I didn't burn the tree, I didn't kill Tweedle Dumb. Did you send him to the farm? No. Did you attempt to remove Nerissa's ribbon? No. I went there first, the lucky pawn. Did he send him to the farm? He decided not to go to the farm, but he still had to go anyways, and he still doesn't like me, so... Oh, no! Did you respond to the crooked man? A cigarette? I killed for it, and then that's all we just did with this chapter. Oh my god, 98.5% gave teach. Okay, so... With that being said, everyone, that is it for my Let's Play of The Wolf Among Us. I hope you all enjoyed this long road that I've done. 24 episodes of a Let's Play to complete this. And this now marks, even though I only have one of them on Let's Play for you guys to see, but in terms of actual video games I beat this year, number six. Suck it, Desmond. I beat six games. Woo! I hope you guys all liked this video, and I'll see you all later in the next videos on my channel, whether Let's Plays, Top Tens, The Fives, Reviews, Smash Discussions, everything else in between. See you all later in the next video. Bye, everyone.